All right, now to the Warren de La Salle hazing investigation and a major development we broke on Local 4 News today at noon. The St. Clair County prosecutor has announced charges against all seven students have been dropped. Let's get to Jamie Edmonds live at De La Salle tonight. Jamie, this case has, what, dragged on a year or so now? The St. Clair County Prosecutor's Office today dismissed charges on the remaining former Warren De La Salle Collegiate students involved in the hazing and bullying incident from 2019. Prosecutor Michael Wendling says dismissal was granted after conditions were met. The prosecutor tells me the students attended an anti-bullying program. They sent letters of apology to the victims and they graduated high school. These dismissals mean all seven cases have now been dismissed. Warren Police was the department that investigated. Commissioner Bill Dwyer agrees with the prosecutor's decision. So quite frankly, uh, you could say that these young men have been on probation for about a year now. And uh, what they've done is uh, change their lives. And uh, it was never our intent to destroy the lives of young men. The last two students charged had requested a jury trial, and that was set for March. But due to COVID, the prosecutor's office didn't feel they could have a jury trial in a reasonable amount of time. He says the culture at De La Salle has changed under a new president and a new football coach, and he doesn't believe it would happen again. De La Salle President Larry Rencillo released a statement that reads in part, This has been a challenging time for our school community and our thoughts and prayers continue for all of the students and De La Salle families affected. Moving forward, De La Salle remains committed to the success of its students and its entire community, consistent with its Lasillian roots in faith, morality and integrity. Yes, and this all started on October 31st, 2019, when it all came to light about hazing and bullying within the football program. The prosecutor, the police, the school see this as a resolution. Time to move forward. Most of those seven students are now in college. Now, I reached out to the attorneys who represented some of those accused students did not hear back. And also when it comes to reaction from victims, they have never been named. So that was hard to find as well. Now that's the latest here at De La Salle. Jamie Edmonds, Local yeah. 4. But Jamie, even with this latest news, this may not be the end of legal trouble for the school. That's right, Kimberly. A new civil case was filed last week in Macomb County Circuit Court. The defendants are the school, the school board, the principal, the former president, and the plaintiffs are two of those seven players. We've reached out to attorneys looking into details of what that case might be. Yeah. Back to you. And we'll stay on top of it. Jamie, we appreciate it.